everybody, it's me here, Brooke, and we have Misty, and today I'm going to show you, I'm probably going to do a couple of videos, but right now I'm going to sh uh, do a video on walking your dog while biking. So I guess you don't really walk the dog, I guess you bike with it, or I, I don't really know, whatever. <laughs> so, um, we are going to go outside, because I am really bored, I am serious. I cannot wait for school to be done, though. So anyways, my camera skills aren't going to be that great. So just to tell you that. And I have to close the garage door, so... You know, I'll just hang tight there. And here's Miss C. Can you see her? She's very excited. Very, very excited. And I've left my bike here. And there's some people for it, and also my sister. So... I'm actually going to leave the garage door open because they can yeah, close it if they'd like. See. And so, basically, what you're going to need for this is just your basic leash, I guess. And I use choke collars with her. Uh, not to choke her, of course, but I use choke collars because while, it, while you're biking, it can get really dangerous if you know, if the dog is with a uh, regular nylon collar. So you're going to want to use a choke collar like this. Um, if you have a small dog, I'd recommend much smaller and not so pointy here because bigger dogs have, of course, stronger necks. And also you can get choke collars that they're, they're different than this, but they basically have like, like this. Um, all the way around so you don't have the spikes and you just put it on and I can do an example of that in a different uh, video but so yeah basically you're going to do that. Now what I like to do is I like to take the leash and I just loop it in like this. Again my camera skills are bad so and I'm doing this with my left hand. I'm going to grab a second here. So basically like this, you're just going to loop it around, and you're going to want to leave some slack, of course, so she can run, he or she, and we're going to go home. So, just mind, or don't mind my camera skills, they're terrible, and we're going to head this way. Come on. Hi. Hi, Mitty. Wait, are you going on the box? Yeah, watch the garage door. Sorry, those are my... Well, that was my sister and her friend. So, here's Misty. Just enjoying her time. The walk. And I... Just a second, there's a car coming. Okay. Oh. Yeah. False alarm. Sorry, you guys. This is my first video, so... It's pretty bad, but... Ah! Just... Subscribe, maybe. So, we're biking here. And you can even teach your dog command signals. And of course, it's going to get used to going the right way. So, we're going to go right. And if you see this beautiful Minnesota weather, it's very nice out. So, here she is. And I'm going to go a little faster and show you how she runs. Just to show you, you know, you can go fast. You can go fast with your dog. You don't have to go slow as can be. And since she's done it a few times, she is pretty good at it. So don't give up. Actually, show you guys something. So, do you see how big she is right now? She's like 60 pounds. When we first got her, she could fit under this this tree, and it was raining. So when we first got her, she was like a puppy. She was 12 weeks. But I just thought I'd share that with you. Now, when there's a bunch of grass, let your dog roam for a little bit. They may have to use the bathroom, and you want to give them the ability to do this. Just like she's doing now. 
if you don't give your dog enough space and enough leash to roam, you know, this isn't going to be their favorite kind of thing to do because they, they don't have enough room to run. And you want to give them exercise first. So I suggest doing this two to three times a day to give, to um, make sure your dog's healthy. In the winters it's really hard here because we literally, the sidewalks are ice and the roads are, you know, five feet in snow so can't really do it then. But, oh, another bathroom stop. And if you run into stuff like this, just go around. It's the easiest thing to do. Come on, let's go. Now, I recommend teaching your dog to stop at all crosswalks or stop signs and like this. So she knows. Actually, her friends live across there, they're pointers, but we're gonna go ahead and go now. Because the coast is clear. And I've been teaching her to stop. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. And I'm going to be doing more videos today, guys. So if you see me in the same hairdo, that's just... I'm doing another video. I have lots of time. Just a second, there's a car. Um, yeah, that girl, she just kind of... That was kind of weird. <laughs> Open them up. Like. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I have to go by these people. It's kind of embarrassing. Just watch the dog, okay? Okay, we are back. So basically that was our bike ride. First movie, so or yeah, first movie. So let me just get off here. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be right back with you. The tips on training your do your new dog or your old dog or however. So we're gonna head to the backyard.